Hello and welcome to this video on creating custom audiences inside of Facebook. My name is Dan Liu and I'm going to walk you through this entire process. Now the first part of this video is me explaining what a custom audience is. So if you're looking for the walkthrough part, go ahead and jump forward in the video to where I actually dive into the step-by-step -step process of creating your custom audience. So what is a custom audience? It's basically a group of people who have completed specific actions or meet certain criteria that you as an advertiser or marketer specify. And the purpose of having a custom audience is for marketing or remarketing with the intent to reach certain people with specific content so that you can get those people to either consume the content, become a lead or make a purchase. Custom audiences allows you to have better control over who sees your ads and you can really create much more targeted ads and messages to specific groups of people. So why are custom audiences so powerful? Basically, they help you market based on where people are in their customer journey or the sales cycle, which allows you to increase the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns. So why use custom audiences? You'll be able to increase the chances of getting leads and sales from your ads based on people's prior actions or criteria, which you can tell who is more likely to buy what you offer by using that specific data or knowing where they are in their customer journey. So before you create custom audiences, you need to install a Facebook pixel onto your website or your funnel. And a pixel is simply a piece of code that allows Facebook to track who visits what pages or takes specific actions. So I put together a video of how to install a Facebook pixel inside your funnels if you're using ClickFunnels. So definitely check that video out because I do dive a little bit deeper about what a pixel is. And I give you a walkthrough uh, if you happen to be using ClickFunnels. So the overall process includes first setting up your pixel to your website or your funnel. Then you want to assign specific event codes to pages in your website or your funnel. So you know, or Facebook knows when somebody visits a page, when they submit their information to become a lead or add something to their cart, make uh, a purchase. And then after that, you want to create your custom audiences based on the different events or the actions that people take. And then the last step is now that you have your audiences built and Facebook is constantly collecting the data and building these audiences for you, you can then create marketing or remarketing campaigns with specific messaging that is shown to those customers. Again, that messaging is going to be dependent on where that person is in your marketing and your sales process. So here are some examples of custom audiences. One audience could be people who've only seen a specific web page, could be your landing page. It could be people that have become leads, people that have initiated a checkout, people that have purchased, and also you can have audiences built from the customers of specific products and services that you offer. So let's dive a little bit deeper here. So let's say you have audience number one. These are people who visit your website, but maybe haven't yet gone to your landing page. So think of it as this bucket of people who they hit your website, but ultimately you want them to go to your landing page. So you can create an ad that is specifically targeted to this group of people and then promote your landing page and what you're offering for your lead magnet. Then audience number two would be people that have visited your landing page, but maybe they didn't submit their info yet and they're not yet a lead. So now you would create a ad specifically for these people. And then audience number three could be people that have submitted their information. They've become a lead, but they haven't yet made a purchase for what you're offering. So you would create a another ad that would be very specific to this group of people that talks about your product or service and really gets that person to uh, try and take that action. 
So here we have three different audiences built up of people that are at different stages in the sales cycle. And at each stage, you want to have a targeted message that helps them move to the next step in that process. All right, so that was a quick intro on custom audiences to really help you understand what they are, why they're used and how they're so powerful. And then let's now dive into the actual process of setting up your custom audiences within the Facebook ads manager. So now I'm inside the Facebook ads manager and you wanna make sure that you are using the right ads account that you want to track so if you're just starting out then you'll only have one and if you are building out multiple campaigns or you have other ad accounts then you'll want to make sure that you're working in the right one so from here you can click the business tools button here and you'll see audiences now depending on when you watch this video the interface may look a little bit different as facebook is constantly changing the user interface so things might look a little bit different or uh, certain features or buttons are going to be moved around, but you should find something called audiences. So we're going to click on that. And remember, before you create your audience, you want to make sure that you have properly installed your Facebook pixel to your website or your funnel. So you see here that I have a few different audiences already created, and this is basically built from that diagram I showed earlier that had the three different buckets. So let's go ahead and create audience. I'm going to hit custom audience, and you can see you have a few different options here. Uh, the first one being website, and this is likely the most popular one, but you can also build an audience of a customer list. So let's say you have um, an email list or you have people that have already bought from you, you can upload your list here, app activity, uh, certain offline activity. For video, let's say you have a video on Facebook or you're running an ad video, you can build an audience based on how much of that video people have consumed. And you can create audiences from your Instagram account, your Facebook page, and so on. So like I mentioned, website is typically the most popular, so we're gonna go with that one. And once you're in this page here, then you want to make sure you're using the right pixel. Now, if you are just starting out and you only have one pixel, then it should be the default one. But if you start to have multiple pixels or ad accounts, then uh, you definitely want to make sure that you're using the right one. So if we click on this drop down menu here, we're going to see that we have a few different options. So more than likely you're going to be using either people who have visited specific web pages or you're going to build an audience based from your events. Now events are what allow Facebook to know where people are in your customer journey or your sales cycle. So make sure to check out the Facebook uh, pixel video I created before where I dive deeper into the different type of events and what they are and how to install them if you're using ClickFunnels. But if you're not, it's also a good way for you to understand events and how they actually work. So let's say we're doing specific web pages. So for example, the first audience I wanna create is people who have landed or hit my landing page, but did not submit their email. So if I go to, let's say a landing page here and I copy the URL, and I'm going to leave out the www part and I say, I want everybody who hits this page to be put into this audience. However, I want to exclude people that have actually become leads. So there's a couple ways I can do that. I can either copy the URL for my thank you page. Basically, if somebody submits their email address here, they get taken to this page here. And that's how I know that somebody's become a lead. Another way is again, using events within Facebook. So I've basically told Facebook that if somebody hits this page, then they are considered a lead. And you can see here from the Facebook pixel helper that it's showing lead here if somebody hits this page. So, like I said, there's a couple ways I can do it. I can either exclude people that have 
visit this specific page. So I would paste in my thank you page URL here, or I can exclude people that have become leads. So personally, I would choose this one and I would also likely change this to 180 days here. But again, this is going to be dependent on your business. So this would basically be my first audience. So I would say um, landing page view, but no lead. So now I have this audience that is being built up that I can create a marketing campaign to help move people to come back to this page and submit their information. So if I go here, I can hit create audience. And it's going to ask me if I want to create an ad uh, using this audience and I can do so here or I can create a look alike audience, but I'm going to just hit done for now. So the next audience I would create is people that have, let's say, submitted their information. They've gone to the thank you page, but they haven't yet actually purchased what I am offering. So for that audience, I would come back here, go to website. And I would, I would say people that have become leads, right? So I'm not going to use the uh, page visit or the URL option here. I'm going to say people that have become leads, but they have not yet purchased. So I'm going to click on the purchase event because if I'm creating a marketing campaign, I don't want to show an ad to somebody that has already purchased and tell them to purchase, right? So I want to exclude people that have already taken the action I want them to take. So this audience would be lead, but not purchased, let's say. Here I would hit create audience. And then same thing, I'm just going to hit done for now. And then the last audience I would create would be for, let's say, my customers. So I'm just going to really quickly create that one. And I want to include everybody that has made a purchase. So maybe this is um, customers of a specific product. And then for this audience, you can create um, ad campaigns, maybe promoting something different. Uh, else that you offer. And I would just hit create audience like I did before. So once you've built your audiences, you'll be able to see whether or not that these audiences are properly set up and you'll be able to see the size. So over time, as people hit your pages, they take uh, certain actions, then the size will continue to grow. And then from there, you'll have the ability to create your marketing or your remarketing campaigns. So to do that, let's hop over to create an ad and we'll see exactly how you can use this custom audience when you are creating your campaigns. All right, so now I'm in the ads manager. I've just created a test campaign here. So what I would do is I would make sure I'm optimizing for the right conversion. So if I'm looking to generate leads, meaning people that have maybe hit my landing page but did not submit, then I would go down and where it says custom audience, if I click here, then I can see the list of all the different audiences that I've created. So this is where I would select the specific audience I want. Then if I create a different campaign, for people that become leads, but I want them to purchase, then I would select a different, um, then I would make sure that I select the right event code. So that means I want people to actually make um, a purchase. So I would go and I would look for the purchase um, event here. And then I would go and select the right custom audience. So that means people that have become leads, but did not purchase. And that's it. And then you would go through the actual ad creation. So thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully it gave you some clarity on how to create a custom audience as well as the importance of it. And as I said before, Facebook's constantly changing their interface, so things might look a little bit different, but the overall strategy and the process is the same. So make sure you start off by installing your pixel properly on your website or your funnel. 
then make sure that you create your audiences based on your personal sales cycle and your customer journey. Each business is going to be a little bit different. So you want to have a clear uh, or lay out your audiences clearly. And I gave you a few examples uh, on the slide that has the different uh, buckets um, as images. So definitely check out that slide again if you need some help there. And then once you create your audiences, Facebook is just going to constantly gather data and build those audiences up so that when you are ready to market or remarket, you'll be able to come in here, uh, set up an ad and a campaign, and then select the right audience according to who you're trying to target and what you're trying to get them to do. So once again, thanks so much for watching this video. If you got value, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section um, if you have any questions and I look forward to helping you in the future with your marketing for your business. Until next time, take care.